How are you lot? How are you doing? I hope you're all well and dandy. It's now 2021 and we're going to kick 2021 off with a really, hopefully, an informative video because a lot of people seem to get confused and they just don't quite understand how things work when it comes to carburetors and tick over screws. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to explain it the best I can because this is appropriate for nitro engines as well as real, si real life sized petrol engines but we're obviously going to concentrate on nitro engines. I've got two different types. I've got the slidey carb type and the sort of, the sort of whatever that's called, you know, where, they, where it goes like that. You know, a little thing. Anyway, a lot of people, they seem to think, um, I've, I've had a lot of comments, and a lot of people comment, and also people like actually like in real life when I've been out and about, um, back in the day when I actually went out and about, and people were like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm tuning my car and um, I'm just going to, the tick over screw, I'm, I'm tuning the tick over screw right now. Okay, nice, so you're getting a nice tick over. Yeah, of course, the tick over screw, it adjusts the tune, doesn't it? No, you see, it doesn't. The tick over screw, or idle screw, if you're American, you call it an idle. In England, we call it tick over. In America and Canada and all other countries, probably, it's called idle screw. Um, I could explain why, but that's just what it is. So, all that is, is a screw with a little tapered end on it and I'm going to take one of these screws out in a minute and show you. It's just a screw with a little tapered point on the end and all that does, or some of them might not be tapered point because this one probably isn't tapered, I haven't taken this one out, but the way this one works, it's probably not tapered. Um, but some of them are tapered, some of them ain't, um, depending on what way it works. But all it does basically, in very basic terms, because it's a very basic thing, it's just a screw, and it kind of pushes the throttle open as you turn it in. Um, and in this case, it pushes the slider out as you turn the screw in, right? So it governs the amount of fuel and air that's allowed to go in when you're on a tick over. So let's take one of the screws out. In fact, I'll probably take both of them out. Hopefully they'll be two different types. I'm not quite sure um, what type these ones are on here. Um, I'll show you what they look like. Right, first of all, let's take this one out. This is obviously a T15 engine from an um, HPI rush evo so this is the tick over screw you can tell which one's a tick over screw because it will usually be the one with a little spring on the outside not all of them have a spring on the outside um let me see nope that's got one with a spring on the outside as well um i think the one on on the on the mp9 hasn't got a spring it's like an internal spring on the inside so you can't tell it just look, looks like a bit like a needle but anyway usually they have a spring on the outside of the screw so you can tell which one is the tick over screw but if you're not sure if you can just see because it's the one that would adjust the throttle so that's all it does pretty much so let's take this screw out and you'll see exactly what I mean exactly what it looks like all right there we go so what it is this one isn't necessarily pointed but um, it's just a screw, there we go, it's a screw, a threaded screw with a little spring over it and the end of it has got no thread on it and it's just thin, okay? So what that does, inside the carb, it will just push on the throttle and I'll show you, I'll give you a demonstration where it doesn't actually affect the tune in any way whatsoever you've got to make sure that your throttle is in the right place for it to screw in otherwise it won't go in right so hopefully you can see I don't know how, what the best way is I can get the camera hopefully you can see that like that there we go right so you can see the throttle is moving okay that's wide open and that's closed or would be a tick over Okay, so I'm holding it on closed, okay? I'm not going to move my finger. If you watch, I'm undoing the screw. Can you see the throttle now is closing all the way? So this would be no tick over. There would be zero tick over here. It hasn't affected the tune on the low speed or mid range or whatever needles you might have or the high speed needle. There's no effect on any fuel whatsoever. The only thing that it affects is the amount of air that can go in and also, that affects the amount of fuel that can go in. Because if no air's going in, it's not going to be drawing any fuel in through the needles. So, that's anti-clockwise. You do it anti-clockwise or turn the screw out to lower the tick over. To higher the tick over, you turn the screw in. And hopefully, 
you can see, I know the lighting's not perfect. Right, I'm not moving my finger, I'm holding it closed as if the spring's on it from the throttle servo. I'm doing the screw up. Can you see it's opened? Can you see that? There's a little gap there now, just there. I don't think... Hopefully, hopefully you saw it. Um, but now, even if you don't, if you watch watch the throttle arm, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll close it all the way. And then when I do the screw up, you should be able to see it open as I do the screw up, okay? So this is closed all the way, as if there is no tick over. Watch the throttle there, ready, as I do the screw up. Can you see it opening? That's now full... There's, that won't go in anymore. That'll be a, a really high tick over. So hopefully, with any luck, that's explained how that works. And you understand that it doesn't actually affect the tune. The way that the, you know, the fuel is, is delivered, it, it won't affect it whatsoever. All it will do is lower and higher a tick over. That's, that's, that's what it is. That's why it's called a tick over screw. If you've got the type of engine um, with a slidey throttle, like that, it'll do exactly the same job, just in a slightly different way. So, as you can see on this particular engine, it's not all the same design with a slidey carb, um, but on this particular engine, it happens to be on, this, on the back end. Um, a lot of the time, you'll see them at the back here, like on this 21 engine. This is a HPI Savage 21 engine, uh, 21 BB. I broke it. <laughs> I broke it a few times. 3.5. Um, but the ticker. This has got a slidey carb. Where's it gone? There's, this has got a slidey carb, as you can see there. The, but the tick over screw is not at the back. It's on the side. There, covered in dust and hair, because um, I used to use this in a, on a farm where there was a lot of animal hair. Hopefully, we'll get a focus in a minute. There we go. So there is the tick over screw. If I can get my screwdriver on it, I've got, uh, 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 there it is. All right, that's the tick over screw there. Okay. You see, it's got a bit of a spring on it, but it's covered in dust. But the spring's on the outside. So it can be in different designs. But this one is on the back and we'll probably find that because it's not the type, it's the type where it would push it straight on it's not going to be pointed, it would just be like the other one was um, with a little thinner end on it, more than likely yeah so there's our spring there's our spring and there's our screw you have to excuse my cracked hands because um, I've been doing a lot of work recently and the hands are getting a bit dry and cracked all the sanitizer and all that bollocks so there we go so now you know what the tick over screw looks like and you know that it's not a needle and it doesn't affect the tuning in any way there's, you know, there's people out there that are still going to say oh it does or oh, when I tuned my engine, I turned the tick over screw and uh, it got faster. Well, <laughs> whatever. It's all in your head, I'm afraid. Because it doesn't, it won't. It's impossible. Um, so we've, we're going to do this now, so it's completely closed. Right. Hopefully, you can see that. Maybe if I do it down here like this. I wonder if you can get a better view like that. Is that better for you? Is that better lighting? Okay, so... Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Right. Hopefully that stays in focus and, and focuses well. So, the throttle, that's not very focused very well, is it? Come on. Come on, camera. You can do it. Oh, come on, camera. Oh, no.
I think that's better there. So you can see the throttle is completely closed, okay? Because I've I've wound the screw out all the way, or most of the way, and I've got my thumb on the slider. See, it naturally wants to come out, um, but it won't do if there's if there was a throttle servo attached to it. It would stay in because the pressure would be keeping it in. So my thumb is the throttle servo, keeping that closed. So there'll be no tick over on this engine at the moment. So if I go over here. Oh, you might not be able to see because of, if I do it this way. God, talk about awkward. Make things really awkward for myself here, aren't I? The things I do to try and explain to you lot, make things easier for you. Right, so I'm holding that screw, holding the thumb in, and I'm going to do the screw up. And you'll see it's going to force the throttle. Can you see it forcing the throttle open slowly as I do it up? Okay, that's forcing it. A throw, that's going to be a very high tick over now. That's all the way in. It won't go in no further. So as I've done that screw up, it's pushed on the, the throttle slider and pushed it open. So now we've got a very big tick over. That would be a massive tick over. That would probably be shooting down the field on its own if that was like that. But hopefully you can see how it works. And you can even see in there the screw. I don't think you're going to be able to. Let me see if I can get a torch on this. I don't think... You're going to be able to see. I don't think the camera's going to like it and focus on it very well. But you can see in there the screw poking through. I'm trying for you, Luna. I'm really trying. You lot. Can you see it? At the top left hand side, you can just about see the screw coming through where it would push on the throttle. Anyway, nevertheless. Oh, God. All I can see now is bloody dots in my eyes. Nevertheless, that is how the tick over screw works. There's not really a lot else to say on it other than. When you're tuning your engine, sometimes, well, nearly every time, pretty much. I mean, there is a way where you can measure the gap. A lot of people, if they're, if you're really finicky and you're really fussy and you're just one of these people, if you're one of these people that carries a temperature gun around because you're just either properly serious into the hobby or you're a panicker and a warrior, one or the other, um, you can measure the gap of the throttle and set it to a certain millimetre that you would prefer. To get your tick over and then you tune the engine from there and you can use the low speed and the high speed needle to set the tick over so you don't adjust the tick over screw at all you set that at your set dimension your millimeter that you you want and then you use the tuning of the carb through the low and high speed needle to set the tick over you can do that and i've done it a few times not measuring the thing though. i don't measure that i'm not that bloody um crazy but when I've been tuning my engine sometimes if I'm like well I don't want to move the tick over screw anymore I like it where it is I think I'll just adjust the tune a little bit that will adjust me tick over you can do it that way but the easiest way and it's just it's, I wouldn't say it's the best but the way that I like to tune and it's just an easier way is just adjust this tick over screw as and when you need to if you're if you're leaning your engine out a little bit you, you and and your tick over is rising because it will the more you lean the engine the higher it will rise up and you think, oh, bloody hell, tick over's getting a bit high now, but it's running well. Let's just lower it down a little bit. Simple as that. So now, hopefully you understand, a tick over screw, or idle screw, doesn't affect tuning. It's literally just a screw that pushes the throttle either out or in, or lets the spring push it in, if you know what I mean. Simple as that. There is no effect on tuning. With any luck, that's explained a few things. As always, please... Put in on in the comments, um, you know your explanations. Whether you agree or there's nothing to disagree about because I've just explained it and shown it to you. But you can still disagree because everybody disagrees on everything. That's the way the world is. You know you can explain something and lay it out in actual fact ways, as I've just done, and people are going to go, "That's wrong." Well, fair enough. It may well be wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm only joking with you. Like I'm only messing around. But it's true. So leave in the comments. 
um, your ways of tuning and things like that because we can all learn from comments you know people read the comments and they learn things you've got to distinguish what is actual fact and what is just stupidity of course that's what the internet is for you know it's down to you to distinguish what to believe and what not to believe um but yeah hopefully uh, i'll catch you on the next one you lot i have been requested to do a video inside in the garage on how to tune a nitro engine i've done several videos outside but somebody wants to know how to tune it on the bench because they can't get outside to use their nitro car but they really want to tune it so they've got to tune it on their bench it's possible it's not ideal but it's possible so that's probably what i'm going to be doing next tuning an engine on the bench anyway catch you later you lot all the best and i hope 2021 is the nuts for you Anybody who's had the disease, brilliant. Anybody who hasn't, even better. Catch you later.